Welcome back everyone to a new first reaction video. I'm so energetic because I'm reacting to music. No, no authenticity here guys. I am Alex, I write music. I'm into the music scene, something like that. I know kind of about music theory, I guess. And uh, I listen to full albums, full albums, kind of give my take on it from that kind of music theory musician songwriter perspective hopefully give it a little bit of a fresh take um i want to keep everyone in mind i want everyone to keep in mind that this isn't my primary reaction this is my first reaction this isn't a review because i'm hearing these songs for the first time so if i'm not super jiving with something i might love it the next day that happened with the queen is dead by the smiths um i was neutral on it the first time i listened to it I was like, that's weird. And then like a week later, it's in my top 10 albums of all time. So take what I say with a grain of salt. This is meant to just be my first impression, moment to moment kind of thing. Um, yes, so last two videos I did were Tom Waits' Rain Dogs and Let Love In by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Um, I haven't listened to a ton of Rain Dogs still, just because like I said in the video, not my genre. I've listened to Hang Down Your Head and time a couple more times um and those those are great tracks i really like those tracks uh nick cave and the bad seeds uh, i still really love nobody's baby now that one's pretty solid a couple of the other ones i really respect as well but it's not quite my genre um i posted the video earlier this morning i think and i've already had people being like the boatman's call you need to listen to the boatman's call so i looked it up 100 percent piano mostly ballads 9.2 out, out of 10 on Pitchfork. I'm like, okay, that solidifies it then. That's exactly what I like from Nick Cave. So uh, if I, I'm going to do Boatman's Call at some point. That's that's going on my list. So expect that one too. Uh, probably nothing from Tom Waits for a little while. Um, I'm just kind of need to like let that settle and then I'll go back to it later. So today we have John Mouse, Moss. Mouse, mouse. I'm gonna call him mouse. Um, we must become the pitiless censors of ourselves. So, I'm doing this album because I was on YouTube, and since I'm always listening to music stuff like that, my related videos, suggested videos, are always like new songs from the kind of the indie scene. And uh, Hey Moon off of this album popped up on there, and it was like almost 2 million views, I think. So, oh, that looks cool. I'll click it. And it started playing. And I was just transported back to the first time I heard Wild Nothing. Um, when I Because uh, Gemini, the album Gemini by Wild Nothing, was another related video that I clicked on just out of curiosity like three years ago. And I was just captivated from Living Dreams, the first track. And um, been listening to the first two Wild Nothing albums uh, pretty regularly ever since. And when I heard Hey Moon, I was just like swept away to that same place. And I'm like, I need to listen to the rest of this album. Uh, Lo-fi synth pop, only 31 minutes. Um, Mouse said that he wrote the album in search for the perfect pop song. Um, upon release, the album was met with general favorable reviews in contrast from the reception from Mouse's earlier work. Um, so I'm really interested about this. Uh, hey Moon was actually like a cover of a Molly Nilsson song. And I think it's actually the Molly Nilsson song with... John Mouse, Jean, John Mouse on top of it, because uh, you can kind of hear her in the music, um, in the Hey Moon, his version. So, yeah, I'm really, I'm really interested about this. I know that Hey Moon was featured um, in a episode of Million Dollar Extreme, uh, the World Peace, whatever it's called. I don't know much about that. I watched that clip and didn't really understand the appeal fully, um, but a lot of people really seemed to like world peace and we're sad that it was canceled. Um, I, I want to look more into that because there was a big controversy around it and I want to know more what's going on there. But we're going to jump right in, guys. We're going to do this album and I'm going to have such a good time. So without further ado, let's just jump right in to Streetlight. This album artwork is like perfect. 
perfectly sets the mood. Guys, I can't stand that weird beat boop music. Why can't they just play guitar? Quantum Leap. Are we suddenly like New Order? We're Joy Division. This is actually kind of uh, fascinating because you have this Ian Curtis-esque vocal over the top of it. You have the bass that's sort of Joy Division era, but then you have this synth pop that's like New Order. So there's like this, it's a double helix. Great production, actually. I really like the way the songs are forming and the different like synth choices he's going with. Pretty sick. All right, and the rain. Nice. That was pretty good. Um, I, I really like the uh, the mood. That, that he's that he's putting out it's something that I can vibe with really well um you know it's like that ability to communicate like a feeling or an, an essence and um he's really putting it out there and I'm I'm connecting I'm connecting hey moon this one's great I actually figured out how to play this on piano and it's so incredibly dull. <laughs> um, it's literally like root note and then like a, a, a chord, a triad, just first note, second note, third note of the chord, and then down, do the same thing, up, do the same thing, and just goes F, C, G, F, and you repeat that for the whole song. It's like the most boring songwriting you could ever imagine, but there's like some kind of magic in it. It's fascinating how, like, the production just lifts this song from boring music theory into um, something really magical. Good. I just want to replay that again, but I got to move forward. All right, keep pushing on, ironic. Ooh. You know, that's probably the weakest one so far. 
This uh, this video is probably not going to get a ton of views just because I don't think people are going to be attracted to this kind of music. And the people who already subscribed to me probably don't even know this artist very well. Um, but I don't care. Dude, I'm just listening to music. The Crucifix. Ooh, moody, moody. All right, buddy. All right, that's okay. Head for the country. That one was really bizarre. That was uh, lifting from a lot of weird 80s stuff, some like goth music in there too. Cop Killer. This is the song that was supposed to be on the World Peace video, but they changed it because it's called Cop Killer. Hmm. Against the law. Okay. Fair enough, buddy. Matter of fact. Yep, that's what he's saying. He's right, you know. He's absolutely right. I'm getting pavement flashbacks. Feel like I've been trolled. We can break through. Gregorian chants. I feel like we broke through. I feel like we broke through. Sorry, I'm not really saying much about each individual track. I'll kind of sum summarize it at the end. Um, it's a really short album, so I'm just going to pluck, plug, truck forward. Last track, Believer. Production on this one's great.
Dang. Fantastic. Great, great outro song. We must become censors of ourselves. Is this done? Uh, good album. Good album. I don't, I'm not going to re-listen to a lot of these tracks. Um, I might come back to Streetlight. I'll come back to And the Rain. Hey Moon is going to be repeated ad nauseum for the rest of my life. Um, we Can Break Through is decent. Believer is pretty good. The rest are just kind of like, kind of weird, moody, uh, like, you know, same reason I wouldn't go back to some Joy Division songs or the same reason I wouldn't come back to like Quantum Leap, Keep Pushing On, The Crucifix, Head For The Country, Cop Killer, Matter Of Fact. It's like, eh, they're okay, but not my thing. Yeah, solid album. Thanks, YouTube recommended. Um, so, that is it. Thank you everyone for watching. Please uh, comment if you've heard this album before, what you think. Comment what you think I should listen to next. I have a Google Doc in the description you can check to see the albums I will be reacting to. And I'm probably going to start a Google Doc of albums that I get recommended all the time that I've already heard. Like people keep saying, you should listen to Oasis. You should listen to uh, My Bloody Valentine, Loveless. I'm like, I've heard that. So uh, check to see if I've already heard it before. And you can check to see what I'm going to be listening to in the future. And if it's not on either of those lists, recommend it to me. That's it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to uh, join in on some hangouts. I'll do, I do live streams every now and again. We play some music. Uh, talk about reactions, do some live song reactions uh, as a whole on, on the stream. Uh, so that's pretty fun. Just kind of talk, hang out. It's a good time. So subscribe if that sounds good to you. And uh, thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you later.